We have a new project and it's gonna be something different, but it's something awesome. I've been wanting to do this for years and years. We have the opportunity. It's Japanese, it's all wheel drive, it's a six cylinder. It's not what you're expecting. We are building a minivan. Now it's not just a minivan that's gonna be a cool build, but we actually have intent for this one. Now you all know that I love budget builds and we are going to be doing the same with this. We are going to be keeping this on as much of a budget as we can, hence the uh, um it's, it's missing a couple parts. So at the end of each episode, I'll be putting up a total cost for how much we have spent on the van in total so that way you know how much you could spend yourself. Now we're going to be doing a bunch of this. We're gonna be lifting it. We're gonna be converting the inside to be a camper. We're going to change parts of the outside, modify it, new tires, all sorts of special stuff. It is going to be absolutely intense. Now, of course, the first thing we need to do is we need to start it up to make sure everything runs well, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna wash it. So we're gonna wash it first just because I like a shiny car. I think we're gonna get a little water on the inside, but uh. It is what it is. We are all cleaned up, so let's go ahead and see if we can get it started. This is working so well. The engine runs great. No ticking, a slight little pulley or belt wobble, or not wobble, but little squeak from the left-hand side when you turn the AC on, which the AC works, which is fantastic. The only main issue is this is part of the frame here, which this, this, and this can all really be replaced. It's about $200 for a whole front sub radiator frame, essentially replacement, and none of the actual frame was hit. When you come to the inside, things are nice just as well. Inside the car, there's not a single check engine light, and I ran the codes as well, and not a single code popping up at all. This car is like near perfect condition. Sunroof opens. <laughs> the car even has a backup camera. Look at that. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I know what you're thinking now. You should buy a super hat. We should also drive this minivan off road. <laughs> I'm going to go drive it around our backyard now. This is going to be fun. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't see through the windshield much at all. But it's okay. This thing is all wheel drive. a lot less bumpy than I was anticipating. What the heck? Like, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty bumpy, but at the same time, I mean, I'm not going fast, I'm going one mile an hour. This is awesome. Is this how you guys test drive your cars as well when you first get them? You just immediately go off road? Oh, <laughs> it handles it so well. Oh man, <laughs> this thing is so cool. Oh, it handled so well off-road. Like genuinely, I'm surprised how smooth it was. It's just quiet inside. You feel the bumps, obviously, but not that much. Now in comparison, I'm comparing this to my mom's minivan where you could feel like every bump you hit. It's, but it's still like a smooth minivan, but compared to this, this thing is like riding on air. So when you get to lift it, that's gonna be sweet. <laughs> that's right, three and a half inches up plus bigger tires, this thing is gonna be phenomenal so big plans for this if you guys actually want to see what the concept's going to look like i'm going to hop on i'm going to hop on monday evening around two well monday mid-afternoon around two o'clock i'm going to be live streaming my actual photoshop process of this in order to get this to have a concept of what we want it to look like but we'll see how this goes first things first we need to fix it and then move forward so this is going to be exciting this has been a project i've wanted to do for a while we still have the super i still have the miata all those other cars are still around and we're still going to be doing work on them
aluminum. So if you guys came here because of the Supra, don't worry, that's still getting stuff done. I just wanted to get it to a stopping point, but we still have like diffuser, engine work, all sorts of things to come in the future for that. So we got a project. We got about a month and a half to get it done. Buy a Supra hat. That'll help me get this project done a lot quicker. Thank you guys so much. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Actually, I'll see you Monday. I'll see you Monday afternoon. Bye. Oh, I'm